Now let's look at Unit 3, Blue Jeans. I'm going to read the text. Please read along with me in your mind. Okay? Page 82. Classifying. In writing, the skill of classifying information is useful to deal with large complex topics. Here, we break a topic into categories according to some specific principle or principles, present the distinctive features of each category, and show how these categories vary from each other. A classification essay takes a group of things and breaks it down in one of the three ways. Number one, parts. The topic is broken down into component parts. For example, the three most important parts of a car are the engine, the clutch transmission, and the safety systems. Two, types. The topic is broken down into its main kinds. For example, the three main types of cars on the road in India today are hatchbacks, SUVs, and sedans. Number three, characteristics. The essay describes significant features or characteristics of the subject. For example, the perceptions about beauty in an essay on fashion, fashion trends followed across the globe. Before writing, it is necessary to decide on the classification criteria. The criteria must be discriminating and the emerging classes should be non-overlapping. A note of caution, do not make categories, for example, on the basis of race, caste and community. That might be offensive. Here is a part of a classification essay. View it as a sample of the features discussed above. It is known that life on Earth is diverse. Wherever we find water, there is a high probability of life there. Of course, temperature is an important factor in this. Growth and metabolism take place between the temperatures of 122 and 18 degrees Celsius. Using the above constraints of life, an astrobiology group at the Technical University in Berlin has devised a system of planetary environment types PETs. The classification scheme provides three main types of water environment PET 0, PET 1 and PET 2. Based on the type of water present this water environment is further subgrouped into the following. Atmospheric water, cloud, rain, A. Surface water, oceans, morning dew, S. Subsurface water, groundwater, G. By this classification, a planet classified as PET0 would have no surface water. However, Mars, for example, would be classified as PET0G and Venus PET0A. By this classification, one cannot rule out the possibility of both Mars and Venus hosting life. This essay classifies planets into three main categories, namely PET 0, 1 and 2, and three subgroupings, namely A, atmospheric water, S, surface water, and G, subsurface or groundwater, on the basis of availability of water and the form of water present. Task 23. Choose one of the following and write a paragraph in about 300 words. 1. Types of teachers I've seen so far. 2. Characteristics of good friends. 3. Components of a desktop computer. 
4. Types of salespersons and 5. Qualities of a good life partner. Page 83. Providing examples or evidence. When you are writing a report, an essay or a research paper as a class assignment, you first need to be clear about what you wish to convey. You need to decide on the stance you would like to take on the basis of your research. Then, once you arrive at a point of view, you need to be able to support your position with evidence. For this, you need to find the right kind of evidence. Try to determine from the context of the reading or class assignment whether any specific source will give you a better understanding of evidence required. Use evidence effectively. Have an appropriate amount of evidence. We're moving to page 84. <clears throat> Task 24. The following article tries to show a relation between social media usage and eating disorders. Read the article and find evidence on the internet to prove or disprove the views stated here. Eating disorders are mental disorders that involve abnormal eating habits which affect a person's health. Apart from physical health, eating disorders also impact emotions and the person's ability to function normally in everyday life. The article talks of a link between such disorders and social media usage. Does social media increase the risk of eating disorders? According to a new study by the School of Medicine of the University of Pittsburgh, spending hours every day on social media sites leads to body image issues and a higher risk of eating disorders. While traditional media like television and glossy magazines are known to cause body image issues by promoting thin models as attractive, social media seems to have an even more powerful impact. This may be due to the, due to the fact that it enables users to interact with each other. 1,765 adults in the age group 19 to 35 were given questionnaires to assess the relationship between social media usage and eating disorders. It was found that regular users of social media were 22 times more likely to experience eating disorders like bulimia, binge eating, anorexia, and body image issues. They were more likely to be critical of the shape and size of their body and consider themselves obese even when they were not so. It is commonly known that on social media, users share images of themselves that are more flattering rather than realistic and accurate depictions of themselves. This creates an illusion that the average weight is far less than what is what it really is. In an effort to battle social media fueled eating disorders, Instagram banned the hashtags Thinspiration and Thinspo, but users easily circumvented these barriers by spelling the word slightly differently. YouTube videos about anorexia that could be classified as pro-anorexia received more views and positive ratings than informative videos highlighting the negative consequences of the eating disorder. Let's look at some useful guidelines. First, shortlist the different social media websites that you will search for similar articles or posts. Facebook, Twitter, online new 
news websites, scientific research-based websites, etc. Select the keywords that you can use on search engines like Google to find related information, for example, social media, anorexia, body image, etc. Compile a list of all the relevant articles and images that you find. Separate the research-heavy articles from mere opinions. Sort the articles or posts based on their conclusions or findings. Based on your research, you may choose to support or oppose the findings stated in the above article. Share your own findings in class and back your opinion by quoting from the scientific data that you have gathered through your research. This is the end of Unit 3.